Hello everyone, thank you for attending this talk. My name is Oscar Esquivel. I'm an associated professor and researcher in Applied Mathematics and System Institute in National University of Mexico. The title of this talk is Parallel Implementation of Monte Carlo Markov Chain Algorithm. The second author of this work is my colleague Oscar Alvarado Moran. Let's get started. Table of contents. First, the background. I will show a brief background of Monte Carlo methods. Monte Carlo methods. I will present some concept around Monte Carlo and Markov change. Parallel algorithm. Here I'm going to present some basic I, basics ideas about of Monte Carlo parallel algorithm experiments. Some result will be present in this section. Finally, some conclusions. The background. It's a well-known problem obtain the solution of a system of linear equations. Some strategies to solve this kind of problems are iterative solvers, which compute the solution, but sometimes are not totally efficient. Monte Carlo method is a probabilistic method for computing approximated solution. It requires less calculation than iterative solvers. The Monte Carlo method some basic ideas. Consider the system A x equals B. We can obtain an iterative form splitting the matrix A into two matrices, matrix M and matrix N, in order to get the matrix T and the matrix F. In other hand, one sequence of a state with probability P of transition let us obtain an unbiased estimator X based on the transition weight. It's worth to note the ratio of elements of T over elements of the matrix P. In the long term, the partial sum of infinite Markov change will be the mathematical expectation of vector x, based on the simulating several Markov change. Different kinds of errors help us to obtain the accuracy of the method based on the number of the Markov change in both in the simulation. Parallel algorithm. Recently, parallel Monte Carlo method was designed and developed with the following main generic properties. Efficient distribution of the compute data, minimum communication during the computation, increased the precision achieved by adding extra refining, refinement comp computation. The goal of the parallel strategy is to create a markup change per thread and increase the number of the threads based on the number of markup change. Sequential algorithm shows the inner loop where the random numbers are generated. This represents a problem because to launch a kernel which compute random numbers and synchronize them is not a trivial task.
experiments. In order to study the performance of parallel Monte Carlo method, we solve a partial differential equation which involves some quantities as density, time, heat, temperature, thermal conductivity. In order to obtain a matrix A, this matrix is a sparse matrix with dimension 100 rows, 120 rows and 120 columns. And a vector B is a column vector of size 120. In this figure, we can see the sparse pattern of the matrix A. This table shows the compute times of the both implementations. Sequential time is e and uh, parallel time was computed using different values of the parameters epsilon and delta. The capital N is the number of Markov change built each iteration. Indeed, parallel version has a better performance. However, accuracy obtained by means of residual norm is not encouraging. Some conclusions. Monte Carlo method is a good option for working in parallel. Design and implement a parallel algorithm isn't an easy task JL plus Julia help us to tackle this problem. Some problems about computation of random numbers into kernel become in loss of accuracy. Some final remarks. I would like to thanks to Tim Bessart and all generals and very, very clever people who work hard to translate CUDA into Yulia. I want to thank to, to all Yulia language team and friends for creating this cute, attractive and powerful programming language and save Yulia Con 2020. The reference using this work are here. A great, great work of Fatih Baraha about Monte Carlo method. It's a great reference of Monte Carlo Markov chain method. As the work of Tim Bessart and Anton Levet and Basil Alexandrov using the Monte Carlo method for build some strategies of preconditioners. And finally, I would like to thank for doing this great, great Congress. My name is Oscar. I'm working in National University of Mexico. Thank you for your attention.